Hello and welcome to this third video on data interpretation. In my previous two videos, I looked at data forms from table and pie charts. In this video, we'll discuss line graph. So we'll discuss how do we read line graphs? What is the information that is presented? And we will do some smart calculation to discuss five questions on line graph. So let's get started. So let's look at the graph here. So in this graph, if you see, it represents exports from three companies over the years. So there are these three companies X, Y and Z. So this blue line represents the data of exports for that company over the years and similarly Y the orange one and the gray one for the third one company Z. So for example, let's say a data point. So let's say if you discuss 94, if you look at year 1994, can we say that the exports from company Y is less than company X because company Y the exports in this year is how much 40 crores whereas for company X the blue line is a 60 crores whereas for company Z Z this is 90 crores. So this is something that we should understand the data. So similarly we can understand the data and we can just solve the questions. So let's look at the first question. First question says for which of the following pairs of years the total exports from three companies together are equal. So for which of the following years so or years you've given options and which years the together if you join X, Y, Z the exports are equal. So let's look at 93. But should we really look at 93? Why would we waste our time looking at 93, 94? Why? Because I always told you keep an eye always on the options. So it says 95, 96, 98 and 97. That means we don't have to look at 99, we won't waste our time on 93, 94. So let's look at our problem. So 95, let's look at 95. So what do you think is the exports here? This is 40, this is 60, 40, 60, 100, 100 plus 120. So how much is this? This is 220. Similarly, if you look at let's say 96 or 98, so let's say 96, how much is 96? This is 60 plus this is 70, 60, 70, 130, 130 and 90, 130 and 90 again is 220. So these two already we got it, this is equal 95, 96, is there an option 95, 96, oh there is, so we could have just marked this, otherwise we can also calculate for 97 and 98, so for 97 let's look at the data, so this is how much, this is 60 crores plus 80, 140 plus 100 meaning 240. Let's look at 98 also. This is how much? 50 plus 80, 130, 130 plus 100, 230. So as you can see clearly that in which two years is it same? So fourth option is our correct option. So all you had to do is just looking at this, just adding and just seeing which is equal. Okay, let's move to the second question. It says average annual exports during the given year for company Y so the entire annual average exports for given period for company Y is approximately what percentage of the average annual exports for company Z. So we are saying average of all these years Y is what percentage of average of company Z. This is what so first reading the question understanding is very important understanding the question. Once you understand that that you can always go to the uh, data and start attempting. So company Y, let's look at company Y. So company Y we know is this, that means this line. So let's look at the average uh, data they have. So let's look at, okay. So this is 80 plus 40, 120 plus 60, 180 plus 60, 420 plus 140 that means 560 560 and of course upon how many years is this this is upon 7 but just a second let's look at company Z how much is company Z company Z is gray 60 plus 90 150 plus 120 270 270 plus 90 360 
360 plus how much is this 360 plus 60 420 420 plus 80 500 and this is how much uh, 500 and 100 600 so 600 upon 7 years because there are 7 years so the question is this is what percentage of this so now there are two things one you can always calculate the average and you know calculate this and then calculate this and then you can see okay what is this percentage of this other number and because he is asking that this is what percentage of the other numbers I hope you understand that much ratio and percentage that we need not even do this calculation that means all we can do is we can just check 56 or 560 is what percentage of 600 because ultimately by 7 there is division both sides so ultimately that ratio you can compare so if I say how what is 2 as a percentage of 3 or if I say what is 2 lakh as a percentage of 3 lakh ultimately it's going to be the same thing so all you have to do is you have to check 56 is what percentage of 60 so now is it simple or difficult very simple 60 is 100 percent and this is 56 so 4 less so first look at this data if you have any data 10% of this number is 6 so what is 5% of 60 5% is 3 so that means if the number was 57 it would have been how much it would have been 95% but this is less than that how less one less right than this so what is 1 of 60 that means see what is 10 of 60 is 16.66 that means 1 by 6 16 so this is 1.66 so 1 is how much so 1.66 percentage is 1 and this is 3 plus 1 4 less that means you have to reduce this percentage than this so that means it is not 95 95 minus 1.66 that is 93.33 so that's your answer so very simple all you had to do it you had to add up these numbers but I would say instead of doing this unnecessary uh, you know so for example this goes directly 7 into 856 but here it's not easily you know it's getting cut so instead of doing this you could look at 56 by 60 but even if you do the standard basing 560 upon 7 this is 80 and 7 into 7 7 8 56 and then you have 40 and 7 5 so 85 point something and then also you can look at 80 is what percentage of 85 you'll get the same answer but instead we looked at 56 is what percentage of 60 okay let's move to the next question so this question says in which year was the difference between exports from company X and Y the minimum? Okay, so which is X the blue one and which is Y this orange one. So he says in which year is it minimum? So can we look at 93? No, why should we, should we look at 93? Always keep an eye out on options 94, 95, 96, 97. That means that is in a scope. So we will only look at these four years, right? No other year. So now let's look at 94. Now again difference C. So this one difference is how much? This is 10 crores. So that means this is how much? This is 20 crores. This is also 20 crores. 94, 95 same. 96, how much is this? This is only, this is close. So that means this is only 10 crores. And this is again 20 crores. So obviously, this is very obvious. And this is a 5 second question. All you have to do is read the question. Just look at the data point and just, just mark your answer. So let's move to the next question. Next question says, what's the average what is the difference between the average exports of three companies in 1993 and the average exports in 1998? Difference between the average exports. Okay. So we have to calculate difference average export. So average of 1993 minus average of 1998. This is what you have to do. Correct? Correct? This is what it will be. So let's look at average of 1993. Okay. So how much is this? 30 plus 60, 90. 90 plus 80. That means 170 upon 3 because that's the average. So let's look at again. 30 plus 60, 90. 90 plus 80. This is 170 by 3. So this is one data, 1993. And let's look at the other data. Other data, 1998 is how much? Again, this is 50. And uh, this is... 80 50 plus 80 130 130 plus how much is this 130 plus 100 that means this is 230 so that means 230 by 3 see there's a reason why I did not 
actually multiply this i mean why did i not divide it and calculate the actual answer because by 3 would be common in both the places so i don't want to do any unnecessary step any redundant step i should avoid so instead of getting into these numbers and getting into points i want to make it my life easy so what is the difference actually 1 by 3 is common 230 minus 170 this is 60 that means what is the difference this is 20 crores so what is the difference in average exports this is of course simple c option 20 crores so let's move to the final question on the data so it says is how in how many of the given years were the exports from company z more than the average annual exports over the given years okay so let's look at company z company z is the cray one okay company z okay so how much is the total and let's calculate the average over seven years so 60 plus 90 150 150 plus 120 270 270 plus 90 360 360 plus 60 420 420 plus 80 500 500 plus 100 this is 600 that means 600 upon 7 correct this is the average so they're saying in how many of the given years were the exports from company z more than the average annual exports over the given year so average annual exports is how much for company z 7 into 8 56 again 56 of 4 carry 40 7 5 35 correct 50 and 7 into 7 so close to this 85.7 is the average in how many years is it more than this average right that's what it's asking more than the average annual export so let's look at company z here is 60 more than 85 no is 90 more than 85 yes is this more than 85 yes what is this number 90 is 90 more than this thing yes is this more than 85 no this is somewhere 60 how much is this this is 80 is it correct no correct this is smaller right so obviously not this and is this more than 85 how much is this 100 yes so how many years 1 2 3 4 so what is your answer c so what did we learn in this video we learned a couple of things one how to understand the information that's presented in line graphs secondly we should not jump to calculation that means any step that we are doing whether it's multiplication whether it's addition whether it's average we should always look at a smarter way to do it secondly we should pause and if not calculate unless it's required right so we looked at understanding the data we looked at some smart calculation and that's about the line graph these five questions so thank you for watching this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next video